Give us your impressions of the first day at uh, the I Travel TDS Asia Summit. Well, I thought it was a very beneficial uh, summit. Some very interesting stuff said. Some good debates, and we are actually we have a booth here as well. So it was nice to get to see a couple of our clients, meet prospective clients as well, and just just networking event. It's a very good, uh, good event to network at. Okay. And as a, as an exhibitor, were you here to kind of keep your fingers on the pulse? as well as uh, catch up with uh, you know, industry friends and, uh, and contacts? Is, is it very much uh, an exercise in keeping up to speed with uh, industry development? Yeah, I think it, it's a bit of both. It's, um, you know, we, we, our head office space in Sydney, so it's as much keeping up with what's going on in ASA as it is seeing and meeting uh, our, our clients because it's, it's always good as you know, keeping, uh, keeping in touch with people, putting a, a name to a face. And uh, you know, for us, it's always important as well to keep in touch with what's going on, so it can aid our product development and how we move forward as a company. Right. Okay. And uh, just from the whispers around the campfire today that you picked up, what seem to be the most prevalent topics that uh, that were really capturing the uh, the attention of the conference? Well, what was what we heard most? It's probably the space we work in is uh, lowering the distribution cost for hotels. So. Um, how hotels are mentioning and talking to us about the fact that distribution costs of selling the rooms are very high and how they're looking to lower that. And that's obviously important for us in, in two ways. One, we can help them currently and how uh, you know, us and our competitors, how we work in changing that landscape, but also uh, aiding our product development and how we can um, you know, assess what's going on and produce products for one, two, three years in the future that will aid, aid hotels. Yeah, and going forward to uh, tomorrow, perhaps any presentations mm. today that you might have sat in on, were there any particular brands that you're especially interested in hearing from in terms of uh, market leaders or industry leaders? Yeah, there were some, it was interesting, there were some good conversations, not only from, uh, from leading hotel brands, but also from the online travel agents, so sites such as Travelocity and, uh, and Zuji, etc. It was interesting to hear their take on, on where things are going in, in the industry we're in, because um, we work with hotels and it's interesting to know what our partners are doing as well as, as, as what the hotels are doing. So it's interesting to see the marriage of where they're going in discussion and uh, where, where they think the future lies. Fantastic. David, thank you very much. Thanks, Marco.